attention, please. The Disneyland Limited, now arriving from a trip around Walt Disney's Magic Kingdom. Good morning, it is 5 a.m. I got up at three, and I'm sure you can guess why anyone would get up this early to go to Disney. I wanna try to get on Rise of the Resistance. I have seen a video of it, and it looks amazing, and you know I don't know anything about Star Wars. I've never even seen a movie of it, but that didn't stop me from liking the ride where you can be a pilot. Oh my gosh, the one at Hollywood Studios. The, the space, the space thing. The, you're in space, and you, you fire your harpoons. Anyway. I am really excited to ride this ride. It looks so fun and everybody says it's amazing and I think I'm going to love it anyway. Like regardless of knowing Star Wars or not, I think it's going to be incredible. So let's get out of here and head over to Disneyland and hopefully maybe we can get a boarding pass. We don't know till we get there. Oh, and this is going to be day three part one because I'm going to start trying to do it because my first day vlog had 59 minutes worth of footage and I had to condense it down into 28 minutes because you guys don't care. Oh, it doesn't show up as great on camera, but the sunrise is so pretty this morning. I think we are like beyond early. There is not another soul out here with me right now. And usually it's like crazy, crazy busy. But I thought you had to get out here super early. Maybe I'm just, I don't know. I don't know. Like usually this is just so full of people and there's no one out here. <laughs> this this whole trip has been just a learning experience. I'm kind of cracking up because like this is nothing like how Hollywood Studios looks on everybody's like vlogs and Instagrams. This is like embarrassing. <laughs> there's literally like five people lined up. <laughs> what? Oh, looky! It's Gracie! Pongo looks more like Gracie because Gracie's ears are black. Gracie. So glad that we're here early enough to beat the crowds. And just so you know, it's not even that early. It's actually 7 o'clock, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I blame Disney World for giving me false information. I'll never lose this again, that's for sure. Okay, it's happening. No, it's not. <laughs> Look at what this guy's bag says. One man's dream. All right, we're at the turnstile. We're first, but they're going to do a countdown and then we can walk in after the countdown. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. I am. I sure didn't make it down here quick enough to be um to get a picture alone. Guess what I'm doing right now, guys? Walking right down the middle of Main Street, USA. Oh, you can't see the cat. Oh, yeah, you can. Uh-oh. We have been stopped at another rope, but we're behind. It went from not busy to extremely. Everybody's so excited. Everybody's so happy. Isn't this amazing? All it smells like right here is just flowers. 
so amazing. Okay, at nine o'clock we can try to get our boarding pass. I have no idea where I'm going. I just ran into a, a wall. I, I I'm so confused. I'm so glad I'm here for rope drop and missing everything. I am a rope drop failure. It's because I am stubborn. I did not pick up a map and now from being front of the line, I am last in line and there's bubbles. I am failing everything. I was going to go to ride Alice. Ended up going that way, but the line's over here. Oh man, oh man. I just can't believe that. I didn't get to do anything. After this, we're gonna go get a hot dog taco. Here we go. because like you feel like you're gonna fall off the edge like look at how close to the edge we are oh now we're going down a hill oh this is great this is this is excellent all right that's the end but that was so much fun look at these ears that I just found <laughs> guess what I'm doing I got myself ears yes, I believe look at that I, I believe he is at this moment in time on the phone with her. How cute! Wow, I love them. I love them. They're so cute. Oh my gosh, the park is about to open. Look at how many people are down there. Thank you. It just did that thing again where I'm like trying to take a picture and then it starts recording and it's just an awkward like. Okay, let's go. Look at that. Oh my goodness. We have eight minutes. Look at those ducks. All of us in the Magic Kingdom are delighted to have you as our guest oh, today. Oh, thank you. We're moving, we're moving. It's my second rope drop of the day, and I'm failing again. <laughs> I'm just sitting here watching my clock on my phone and just waiting and watching the second hand go by because I really want to ride this. Literally at, I literally did it at exactly 9 o'clock, and I'm boarding group. 65 so we're definitely riding I'm really excited we got in but I am kind of hungry so we're gonna go to Star Wars land and I'm going to try myself a sausage taco I got in we got in we got in oh. this is literally like going into the land of the unknown Welcome for me galaxy, everyone. thank you no problem. let's Head find hot dogs I am so excited to try this I'm so hungry they have the regular one, even though it's breakfast time. All right, here is our Ronto wrap. Now, I don't know that I like coleslaw, but we're going to find out today. Oh dear. I forgot I have max pass and I could have been making a fast pass this whole time. You guys want another tour of Star Wars Land? I can totally do that for you. What is this stuff over here? Oh lord. There it is. GX7. Coordinator box. Not sure what edition this is. Right there. 
there it is. A Windows 98. Oh, hold on. It's McDangley's dating. Okay, we're free. We have been freed. Let's go do, let's go do Casey Jr. And then I say we go maybe do the Matterhorn and we could do the storybook boats. Maybe we'll try to do Thunder Mountain. And we have a fast pass for Space Mountain at 12. I'm scared to do Splash Mountain because I know the last time that I rode Splash Mountain, my feet got soaked and it like totally killed the day. Somehow we just ended back up in Star Wars land, even though I was just like, we're gonna head over to Storybook. I don't know what's going on with me in the Star Wars land. Cool. Look at the progress on them taking down Haunted Mansion. I mean, not taking down Haunted Mansion. I'm taking down Nightmare Before Christmas from literally two days ago. I feel like right. wasted no time. I feel like I'm the definition of someone who has no idea where they are ever because I was just over there, ended up back in Star Wars land on accident. Now I'm back over here and I'm trying to get to Fantasyland. I'm just trying to get to Fantasyland. But Pirates is right here and it's 15 minute wait. So I think we should do this. There's like 18 drops on this ride. It's so fun. This time I'm prepared. Look at this. He's drinking and it's going right through his body. You see that? Look at that. How about it? I've heard tales that that's a real human skull up there. How spooky. It's a really fun hill we go up. We have picked an incredible time to come because it is not busy at all. Wow, okay, that only took three hours for us to finally get out of Star Wars Land and Frontier Land and now go over and do the storybook boat ride and the train, the choo-choo. Okay, we're going back to the castle again. Every time is like just amazing. Oh, I forgot there's like a, an actual thing in this castle to do. Let's go see it. There we go. I forgot about this. Oh, Aurora, huh? upstairs in the castle, technically, right? This plan is just so, it's so amazing. I, I can't get over it. I'm sorry if I keep repeating like the same things over and over. It's just incredible to me that we're on top of the castle. I feel like knowing our luck, we're going to exit like in Tomorrowland and nowhere near Fantasyland. That was so fun bum that we're missing this but that's all right I mean I've done it a lot in my life I am the most disorganized vlogger on this earth because now we're doing Pinocchio instead we'll get to the storybook stuff I swear these rides are just so incredible I mean, it 
reminds me of, um, I don't even, I can't, like, all right, maybe it reminds me of, like, Knoebels, sort of, the haunted house there. I'm confused, where is the line entrance for the train? Look at that. It's our turn. All right, friends, make sure you take a few Nope, not. We gotta go. We gotta go facing forward. We're not in a cage. Perfect. We still have to do that. Now, Casey. This is so funny. No? This is so cute. I can't even take it. It's one of those rides that are like jaw smile inducing. <laughs> now we're going up a hill. Uh oh. That was great. That was really great. I loved that a lot. I, I said, I think we need to get like a that was great. Look at that. And like a I loved encounter on these videos. That was the end of the lion. The lion. That was the end of, we're at the end of the lion. I keep saying all these things that we're going to be doing and then I keep doing the completely opposite thing. Like right now I have a fast pass to Space Mountain and we were going to do that, but now we're going to do the train instead. I don't know why. I, I'm all over. Oh, look at, oh, here it goes. Here it goes. This is so cool. We're like facing out. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Wow. That's amazing. It's like the Grand Canyon or something. Look at those deers. Wow. What? It's just like universe of energy. We have ended up missing our fast pass for Space Mountain because we rode the train instead of following our plan, which is fine. But we made a new fast pass for Thunder Mountain, so we're gonna go head over there. And then I made another fast pass for Space Mountain for two o'clock, so we'll do that. I just wanted to check and see how close we were to boarding. We are getting very, very close. It should be within like the next hour. Yet again, I am completely lost. There is Thunder Mountain. I am like over here in this like weird little loopy thing. I, I get so confused. All right, we found it. We got six again. but now we have to head back over to Tomorrowland because now we can ride to Faith Mountain. We just got all the way over to Space Mountain and our boarding group was called, but we have to 414. We're still going to do Space Mountain because that is definitely my favorite ride here. And it's my favorite ride in Disney World too, but I guess we're in the back. I love it in here. I just love it in here. I want to watch this go over. Whoa. Look at that magic. This ride I am most excited about for today. I am so excited. What? I wish I could film this for you guys, but it's just so dark in there. I really can't. Like speakers on the seats. It's amazing. <laughs> thankful there is no photos right now so this morning I couldn't keep myself out of Star Wars land and now I'm like how did I get there <laughs> say hello to your mother for me it's time we have been scanned and granted access to this line that no one's in sometimes I think I'm one of the most confused directional wise people on earth 
I just went in through the exit and showed him my phone and he's like, yeah, can I help you? I was like, yeah. I was like, I, I, I just got the notification. And he's like, you're in the completely wrong place. He said, oh, okay. Then he points me to the right place and I go in the wrong place and I go into the rider swap area, so. So they tell me, look at these ears all over the place. They tell me the right way and now we are in the right queue line. Yes. But I'm wondering because there's like literally no one with me, not in front of me, not behind me, no one with me at all. You know you're a fatty when those look like eclairs. We're in a room now. Alright, this reminds me of Alien Encounter. It's the ready room for Look, look at that. Now we're outside. We're outside. Look it. You see, we're outside. Isn't that great? What's happening now? Oh, an alien! Wow, this is this. I don't even know what any of this is, but this is like crazy. What? Look at that! Look at that! Look at all that! Oh, wow! <laughs> A box! Okay, we ended up in another room. See? Yeah, the rather large room. It's quite annoying. <laughs> Did you hear him? He said, I have a large group. It's quite annoying. One. Not on the lights. This reminds me of um, like sunny eclipse. Like where, like in Tomorrowland, where you eat and like Sunny Eclipse is playing. Before you roll, like all instructions better than you. It's so funny. She said four year olds follow instructions better than all of you can. <laughs> Okay, now we're in another room. Look at this robot. Can you see him? Okay. Oh, that's that's the thing from Flubber. Whoa, whoa! Look at those animals. Look at that. Those are humongous. Okay, my thoughts on that. It was neat, it was really cool. I think for Star Wars fans, it's probably a lot more like exciting and thrilling for them. Um, I like the giant things, and I like when we went down, that was really thrilling. That was so exciting, I wasn't expecting it. And I like when the lightsaber went through the roof, and I like that we were on a track and we were like kind of floating around. I liked it a lot. I would never wake up early and do this again for it. And I probably would pick Space Mountain over it if I had to choose. But it was really cool. And I think Gratitui, Remy, well, yeah, it will be, well, I think that will be really cool too. Wait. Where do I get it? get what I'm trying to do here. No, it's not working. I just, I just can't get it. I can if I'm looking this way. In the shadow. I think we're 
We're gonna head out of Disneyland right now, well, Magic Kingdom, and go over to the Grand Californian and try to find something for dinner. 66%. I just found out there's no hey hey cones here. We're in downtown Disney here. I'm trying to get to the Grand Californian and I'm, I am so sorry to say this, but I am still so confused everywhere I go here. I, I, I see it, but I just can't figure it out. Finally, we figured it out. This is where I came in from downtown Disney, and apparently the monorail drives through here because there's the track. That's so cool. I had to find the lobby, yes. The lobby must be this way because look at the pretty light. Wow, it reminds me of like a mix of like Animal Kingdom Lodge and Wilderness Lodge. But then it's kind of like the Grand Floridian too because yeah, like there's the piano in here too. Well you guys, I think we're gonna end the vlog here because nothing's more relaxing than just sitting in front of the fire with the piano playing, with the cappuccino in my hand. I am a little bummed we didn't find anything to eat for dinner here. And that's okay because I really did enjoy running into downtown Disney and then grabbing myself a coffee and just sitting in front of the fireplace. And I think since we got up at three o'clock this morning to stand outside of Disneyland's main entrance for two hours for no reason, we'll head home and call this vlog done for the day. I look like a complete mess right now, but that is going to do it for our day three. I had so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're new to the channel, I'd love it if you subscribed got hair in my mouth and came on our adventures with us and if you enjoyed this video give it a little thumbs up if you didn't enjoy it I'm sorry about that and remember we have a lot more story left to tell have a good night you guys just thinking about all the things that we got accomplished today like ears rise of the resistance rope dropping and failing completely miserably um, eating Eating um oh eating a Ronto wrap, coffee Grand Californian. We did Alice. We did so many fun things today. It was a good day. It was a really genuinely a great day. Oh Space Mountain, Thunder Mountain, Mountain. I know that that's a, a problem. Mountain. Yeah, it was a really really good day. So yeah, remember we have a lot more story left to tell. Ventured into a lot of different fields. We've had the opportunity to meet and work with a lot of wonderful people. I only hope that we never lose sight of one thing, that it was all started by a mouse. Now that's why I want this part of the